Okay, so now we're gonna start with the um, uniform layered haircut where everything, uh, all the hair is the exact same length. So every section you take will be 90 degrees from the head. So you're first gonna start with your mohawk section right from uh, in your profile from front to back. And this is where you're going to create your guideline. So at the apex, I want you to take out your little piece Okay, comb it straight up. Now, because we don't need this mannequin anymore, you're at the end now, you can cut this mannequin to whatever length that you want. Um, I'm gonna cut it to about two and a half inches. I'm gonna make it more of like a pixie cut. So I'm gonna cut it a bit shorter and you can do the same. As long as every hair on the head is the same length, I don't care. Okay, so create your guideline and cut. Now you're going to make that entire mohawk section that length. So moving along, pulling the hair up with your guideline and cut. Now remember as you go towards the front of the head, if you need to check your to see where if you're at 90 degrees, set your comb down and check. Find your guide and cut. Now, again, taking into account the head curves. So if I hold it straight up, I'm going to over direct and that means that hair is going to be longer than the hair at the back. So making sure that you're 90 degrees off the head, find your guide and cut. Okay, same thing moving towards the back. Starting to curve. Again, if you need to, check that you're 90 degrees, find your guideline, and cut. Make sure your fingers are straight, they're not angling out, they're not angling in. If you need to put your head forward a bit as you go around the curve at the back. So again, take into account that the occipital bone comes out. Okay, so there's your guideline from front to back. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna section back into your four quadrants. want to keep it neat and tidy we want to keep everything in control so we don't lose our spot okay so starting at the front section we're going to go in uh, vertical sections down from the apex down your radial and when you pick it up again we have to take into consideration the curve of the head. So if you want to work in smaller sections, it's easier for you to do, please do so. So pick the hair up, find your guideline, check your that you're at 90 degrees and cut. Then drop that hair, move down to the next part of your section. Again, this is sort of the wider part of the head. Find your guide, your short piece, Check your 90 and cut. At the bottom, watching your fingers, making sure everything is straight. Okay, moving forward. Next section, 
pick it up, find your guide, and cut it. And remember, when you're going up the side of the head, that you make sure you're not pulling it back or pulling it forward. We want to make sure that we're coming straight out of the head so that all of the hair is the exact same length. Okay, so then you're going to go to the other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, vertical section starting at the top. Find your guide, cut it. Again, check your 90, especially when we're getting to the curving of the head here around the parietal ridge. This is where it's easy for your fingers to jut out or miss a little bit just because of the shape of the head. So just be really conscious of checking your hands, making sure they're perfectly straight and straight out from the head. Okay, moving forward. Okay, make sure you use your guide. If you lose your guide, stop and go back and find it. It's really imperative for this cut especially because everything is the same. That Our guideline is easily seen and used properly. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to check your balance on each side, on the two front sides, to make sure they are the same. Okay, then you're going to do a profile check where you're going to run straight down the middle any errant hairs. You're going to cut those off. Okay, and now to cross check, you're going to go, because we've always gone vertically to cross check, on this one, you're going to cross check horizontally. Okay. So you're going to pull the hair into your horizontal sections 
pick the hair up again making sure you're 90 degrees from the head don't pull it up to a straight 90 um, off the uh, right off the top because then you're over directing pull it out to check okay this is where if you have any corners this is where you will see them but all the hair should be the exact same length And pulling it out okay same thing other side horizontal up horizontal start going with the curve of the head check your lines And if you've done really well in the beginning of this haircut, you really don't have a lot to cut off. As you can see, the line is already there. Okay. Now, moving on to the back section. We're going to go in the exact same way. We're going to use the front now because now we've already cut the front. So we're going to incorporate the front section into the back as our guideline as we move into the back vertically, starting at the top and working our way down. And again, if you need to section this off and pin it out of your way to keep yourself organized, please do so. It's much easier to deal with when you're working in smaller sections and less hair, so you don't get confused. You should be able to, when you pick it up, With your section, you should be able to see your guideline, no problem, and cut to it. Okay, even behind, you can see the guideline in behind. Okay, next section. Again, now we're moving around the head this way. Again, you can see my fingers, they're not pointing out, which is causing length. They're coming straight, they're straight up and down. Make sure that that's what your fingers are looking like when you're doing this cut. This is a very straightforward haircut, but it can be very challenging if you forget to take into account the curving of the head. That's where you're gonna have issues with finding longer pieces. Okay. So again, same thing to cross check, you're going to go horizontally you're going to pick it up so now you're connecting the front and the back pick up a little bit from both sides and as you can see everything is even coming down this way pulling it out side and back are even tiny little corner okay so as you're moving your way around the head pull the hair straight out and nip off any corners. Okay, so now that section, those two sections are now um, connected. Moving over to this side, and same thing, you're gonna follow it in a vertical section, 
pick it up, find your guide, and cut. If you can't see your guideline through your section, then your section is too thick. You need to start over. Drop it and retake it. Because if you lose sight of your guide in this haircut, because every single hair on the head is the exact same length, if you lose your guide, you will be in a lot of trouble trying to figure out where you've gone wrong. Okay, find your guide, cut it. So when, basically it's almost like your hand is kind of hugging the head because it's staying with the shape. Okay, vertical. And as we're going vertically, again, make sure that the section that you're taking, you're pulling it straight out. You're not pulling it over or pulling it back. Because again, we're, that's causing over direction and that's creating length, which is what we do not want. So now the vertical sections are cut. Now same thing as the other side, we're going back into horizontal, straight across, pick it up. So now you're making sure that both front and back are connected. Straight across, pull it out. You have any little corners, this is where you're gonna find it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go and check your balance on the left and the right on the back sections. So stick your fingers in, pull the hair out, and check and make sure that you have proper balance front and back. And I have a little piece of hair right here. So that's when you can see, when you pick the hair up, see how I have one little corner that I missed? You can see it right there. It's so easy with this haircut if you miss a, miss a corner because all the hair is the exact same length. If one sticks out, you're really gonna see it. Okay, pull the hair out, check your balance. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of frame the face. Um, I'm gonna leave it a little bit more ragged at the front because I kind of like it that way. So around the around here you're going to have like these long little tails right and then that kind of a little bit of a hole so because I want to do more of a pixie cut the way that I want to do it is I'm going to kind of go in and oh, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to you don't guys get into that yet but what you want to do is just make sure that all your corners are gone you're going to connect everything as much as possible frame the face nip off any big corners okay and on the other side 
same thing. We're going to connect the bangs to the side, pull everything forward, nip off those corners. Okay. There's your length, there's your length. Cut that corner off. So you get a funky fun mullet for your uniform layered haircut. Okay, just one more check through. Everything is even. Everything is straight. There you go.